Let's now get you some coronavirus updates and put the focus on Europe. Europe's second wave of coronavirus cases continue to worsen. In Spain, for instance, mass testing is underway in the southern region of Andalusia. It has been identified by authorities as a possible hotspot. And all non-essential shops there have been ordered to close down by 6 p.m. Rapid tests were carried out in sports halls, which are now doubling up as makeshift testing centers. Spain has reported more than 40,000 deaths due to COVID-19 so far. In Sevilla, hospitality sector workers protested against the virus restrictions. They are also demanding aid for their businesses. Spain is considering extending credit lines to small businesses beyond December and is also preparing measures to support the hospitality sector. Over in Greece, hospitals are nearing their breaking point in the country's second largest city. Greece entered its second nationwide lockdown last week. Doctors say the second wave is much bigger than the first one and most of the patients this time around are much younger. Φόβος με αυτή την εποχή σαν γιατρός είναι ότι ο αριθμός των ασθενών θα είναι τόσο μεγάλος που και δεν θα μπορέσει να τους εξυπηρετήσει όλους και αυτούς που εξυπηρετεί θα τους εξυπηρετεί με έναν τρόπο ο οποίος δεν είναι αυτός τον οποίο έχουμε συνηθίσει και αυτός ο οποίος ταιριάζει σε μια μονάδα εντατικής θεραπείας. The United Kingdom meanwhile passed the grim milestone of 50,000 COVID-19 related deaths. It is the first European nation to record this high number. Opposition leader Keir Starmer accused the government of being slow to react right from the beginning of the outbreak. The situation is similar across the channel in France. In the city of Nice, for instance, authorities removed the seats that line the seafront promenade. They said that it would prevent people from gathering here and violating social distancing guidelines. All hopes now hinge on a safe and effective vaccine. French President Macron has said that such a vaccine must be available to all of humanity. On ne gagnera pas contre le virus en abandonnant une partie de l'humanité. Et elle, sinon, ça renforcerait encore nos inégalités et ça bloquerait le développement de tous. Et donc, comment garantir que c'est un bien public mondial Comment garantir la bonne production Et comment en même temps s'assurer que on continue d'accélérer notre bataille commune pour les systèmes de soins primaires Parce qu'on ne peut pas diffuser des vaccins ou des traitements, parce qu'on jouera sur les deux tableaux, sans système de soins primaires.